New tonight, R. Kelly's former crisis manager facing more allegations of fraud and theft across the country and right here in the district. It is a story you saw here first on Fox 5, and now our Jacqueline Matter is speaking with another victim who says she was scammed by the celebrity publicist. Jacqueline? That's right, Rob Marina. The D.C. woman we spoke with, Cola Lewis, said she was scammed out of nearly $30,000 while she was living and caring for her sick mother in Houston, Texas. She says that if she can't get that money back from the alleged scam artist, she at least hopes that maybe she can warn others before, she too, before they, too, fall victim. This is her in her younger days. In the summer of 2019, Cola Lewis was mourning the loss of her mother after she accidentally overdosed from a medical error at a Houston hospital. And I just felt like I needed vindication for my mother. Lewis says at the time she felt like the stars aligned when she met Daryl Johnson at a local grocery store. So I'm just bawling. I'm, I'm overwhelmed with sadness. I um, just want someone to help us raise awareness to bring some attention to how awful my mother was treated. Johnson allegedly said he would help her file a medical malpractice lawsuit, even offering to provide services pro bono, claiming his mother also died at that same hospital. But that free help quickly turned into fees. But then in the next sentence, he said, well, I'm going to have to at least ask you for $5,000. Right then and there, he said, do you have the $5,000 right now? We can get started today. And I said, okay. He said, okay, follow me to the chase and I'll have my assistant send over a contract by the time we get there and we can get started and I can get the ball rolling. Lewis says she quickly became suspicious as he requested more money with nothing to show for it. But within nine days, $5,000 went to $28,000. He didn't do anything. Nothing. Lewis filed criminal charges against Johnson in Houston, Texas, where he's accused of aggregate theft. In a statement to Fox 5, Johnson says he's innocent of any and all accusations. The prosecutor trying the case, though, doesn't agree. He lies and deceives people. They trust him. They believe him. He becomes the person that they want to rely on, someone they want to give their money to to help them with a situation or an investment. I don't know if Mr. Johnson is going to ultimately stay or be in the category of being a good con artist, but he's, I would say the charges that are filed now allege that he is indeed a con artist. And for Lewis, she wants her fellow Washingtonians to be aware of his capabilities. Be mindful that this individual um, is in our city and they have no good intentions. He wakes up every morning and predicates on people who are going to work, and I want that to stop. The prosecutor that you just heard from there in Houston is urging anyone who's in D.C. and feels they may be a victim of Johnson to file a police report with the local jurisdiction. She also says you can reach out to her at the Harris County D.A.'s office in Houston, Texas. Now, we do want to reiterate again that Johnson did tell us that he is denying any and all accusations made against him. Back to you.